Hello, Internet. This is Legend of Grimrock. Let's see what this is all about. It's kind of, uh... Kind of in the vein of the old-school first-person dungeon crawlers from, like, Commodore 64 through DOS days. But with some, uh... spruced-up graphics, so... Let's see. Let's try the defaults. I haven't played this at all yet, so it'll be interesting to see. guys that are all chained together and so you play in first person perspective but there's four characters so it's kind of weird that way yeah so here's the four of them all right let's look at the tutorial then party and matching order control a party of four prisoners walk in a square formation of the front and back row only the front row can perform melee attacks. Uh, basic controls. Item slots are used for attacking and for displaying what the characters carry in their hands. Left click to pick up an item. Right click to attack. You can change the marching order by dragging a portrait with the left mouse button. Alright. Character sheets. Throw items by dropping them in this area. Pick up and drop items by clicking in this area. Alright. Oh, well that's all we get. Save it right now. Oh, I guess we already got on off save. Alright. We can turn. Not much going on here. Am I hearing something? Ooh. Nothing there. I think there's supposed to be a lot of secret stuff you can find, too. Okay, I can kind of strafe. Can't look down, though. I guess that's just bones. Mystery writing. Choose your fate. Perish in the cell or pick up the torch. Oh, okay. I will take option B. <laughs> it's interesting how uh, not being able to look around freely makes it feel much more claustrophobic your view is really impaired oh. 
open on up. Let's see here. Hang on one second. I'm gonna start my timer. Which I forgot to do. Alright. What do we got? Pants. Let's <laughs> um Yeah. And a shirt. Let's not just hold the pants. Alright. We are more protected. Oh, that looks like a weapon. Cudgel. I'm gonna cudgel you so hard. You never have too many torches. That's what I say. What does this guy do? Fire magic. Sounds useful. How in the hell do I figure this out? Oh. I see, you need to find a scroll. That's kind of an interesting system. Guessing there's going to be a fight soon since we just got our first weapon. Suspicious pressure plate. <laughs> so what we gotta do is drop the rock on it. I wanted to throw it. What do you think? Do we have enough torches? Maybe just one more. We got a map. Yes, we do. That is... It's going to be tough without that. What have we here? A key. Interesting. You hang out of that for a second. Another rock. That's probably where the key goes to. And it's a dead end all around. Alright. You take that, you take that. I'll give you a torch while we're at it. So I got lots of inventory space right now. I don't have to worry about that. Be able to use those chains as a weapon. We need another key. What do you say? Loose rock. Where is there a rock that looks like it's loose? We are solving puzzles. Exceptionally challenging ones. Oh. I'm just gonna keep picking up torches for no good reason.
Whoa. What the hell are you? Hey, how you like that? Okay, that was stupid. <laughs> now what? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Oh gosh. Go away, slug. I guess I can hit it with the torch. How the heck do I attack again? I thought I just click the things and then click the the critters, but uh <laughs> that caused me to throw my weapon. Maybe I just gotta click it when I'm right up against them. There we go. That's the trick. Alright. Good to know. How much HP do you have, little snail thing? Oh. We're gonna die if we're gonna die here. I gotta say, that took a while. Oh, 60. And we got some snail slice. Mmm. Oh, yeah, that's good eating. That's the wrong way. Alright, let's go get the weapon back that I accidentally threw away. Yay! Alright, alright. So, it should be like dual wielding torches. And then I believe you can hit R to rest. Pick up my loots first. Leather pants, oh my goodness. Actual weaponry. I was I gonna heal him up if we do that? Oh no, we have a food amount. Oh jeez. <laughs> this is gonna get ridiculous. So. Alright. Two of the people in my party get to wear pants. Hooray! It's always nice to not be nude when you're fighting monsters. Boom. Yeah, we'll leave that there. Why not? So, let's try resting. And Mr. Minotaur gets his health back. Okay. Ah, there we go. Click to stop, I guess. Um, how hungry are we? Put all the garbage on one character. Throwing knife, yeah. Now I got two things to throw. Is there someone over there? Yep. Oh, there's two. this. Murder. Now we're 
dealing some serious damage. Alright. Yes, more delicious snail meat. Oh, so tasty. Should be able to get, uh, like a bag of salt or something as I want him. Just watch him shrivel. <laughs> mana when I attack? That's kind of weird. Alright. One there. One there. Mysterious dark hallway. Alright. Well. I did not uh, keep exact tabs of my time since I started my time late, so I'm going to stop for a moment and we'll pick up where we left off. See you next time.